Hello and welcome to another episode uh, review from Green Giant Data School. Today I'll be covering one of the most, well, probably the most important piece of equipment you'll ever use in Airsoft. You're going to need this, so may as well cover it. Um, eye protection. I have two types in front of me. Um, you've got, obviously it's uh, eye protection is there to stop you from getting little plastic particles at high velocity in your eyes. Well, the name. Um, this is a point of contention with a lot of new players. Uh, what do I get? You have two main options, which are solid lenses, like these. So, uh, shooting glasses, protection uh, for machining, etc. They're nice, but they fog up. So the other alternative is to go for mesh. This is easier to use uh, because it doesn't fog up. Um, it's, it does have its disadvantages because it's partially open and could so particles could fracture in. So today I'll be covering two different manufacturers, uh, one of each type. First off, we have the Revision Sawflies. Um, these are, well, for the hell of it, sunglasses. Um, the difference being is the lens on these is ballistic rated, so these are designed to take shots from, well, they advertise the lens as being proof to getting shot straight in the face with the uh, shell of a sh shotgun and surviving. What good that does your face in the long run if you can have your eyes protected but your face is completely filled with frag. Well done revision. Um, these come with different lenses so you're not restricted to a smoke lens, you can also get clear lenses uh, for obviously when you're in an environment where there's no sun. You also have low light lenses in the form of yellow lenses and more Recently, they've had a rose tinted lens, which I'm not quite sure to the point of. Um, so, how do they look? Sunglasses. Obviously, you've got the top of these, which is arced, which clearly pretty much says that they're expecting you to use it with a helmet or something like that, so that it's arced so it doesn't interfere with the brim. Um, they're reasonably clear to see through. Um, but I'd be worried in the long run because they're not enclosed, uh, not even remotely. So BBs can quite easily get in behind. Normally these would have a strap which holds them in place. Uh, well, I say strap. You've got a retainer loop which stops them from completely falling off you if you trip up or anything like that. But to be honest, these are too loose. Um, so I've got quite a big head and even now these don't actually hold in very well. I can, if I fell over or well, if I tripped, I could quite easily jog these off and then my eyes are unprotected and just slide off. Um, but other than that, you've got a reasonably solid frame at the sides. Um, you have nice flexible, so it's not going to be a chore to wear these. Uh, the lens itself is pretty much unrestricted, whereas some sunglasses you've got the quite obvious rings around the lens uh, which can impede vision these because of the pretty much complete lens in one piece. Uh, you're going to be able to see fairly well on these, um, to the point I actually use these when I was cycling, which um, is basically all they get used for. Um, because for the main reason being I don't trust these lenses to be any use because with that sort of layout it's guaranteed that a BB is going to bounce off my sort of round the top of my cheek line into lens and into my eye. It, I've had it happen before, I've seen videos on YouTube, you've probably seen videos of on YouTube recently of the guy who was just wearing shooting glasses and got a BB in his eye and then rushed off to the hospital. Um, so yeah, shooting glasses, whilst you can use them, wouldn't recommend to, and well, 
you've seen the results of what can happen and what might happen. So I'd rather not run the risk. So the flip side is if you're wearing full closed seal goggles, they will fog up a lot quicker. Um, you can get anti-fog liquids, but to be quite frank, if it's over sort of 25 degrees in the UK, it's going to be humid as well, which means they're going to fog up regardless of what you put on the lenses. Um, so the other alternative, I've just noticed these have started to dismantle themselves, um, is to get something like these. This is a Hero Shark lens. I cannot remember for the life of me remember the specific model because I've had these for years. Um, but basically, what you've got is well, you have it's a standard mesh style goggle, except for with it's actually being Hero Shark doesn't use mesh, uses imprinted uh, plate metal, so it's a lot stronger. I well, if I can get it to camera position, you can see there's a lot of BB stripes around on the lens. They don't even dent it. Um, so this is more than adequate for airsoft uh, to the point where I'll take Hiroshima mesh over absolutely anything else. I do not trust eBay stuff, nor should you, because it's your eyes. They're more valuable than a bit than 20 quid of plastic and metal mesh. Please protect them. Um, so on the inside you have a nice bit of foam to, well, to keep the thing from sticking to your face from being painful. A elastic strap fits well, forms well to the face, and more importantly it's nice and closed up against the skin so no BBs are going to bounce inside. Um, I can see plenty well, yes it will be a bit darker than using a clear lens, but I would see it as offset of, is it close seal? Yes. Does it impede my vision? Probably no more than a tinted lens like these anyway. So, does it really matter? No. Um, the other advantage is, well, yeah, I've got clean, I, I don't overheat when I've got these on, so um, it's nice to wear. Um, you may find it more difficult to get hold of these versions, but you can get other mesh goggles. Uh, this is namely because a while back Hero Shark announced that he had stopped production of these for a period of time. So whether he's back into production again, I don't know. I will include details of that and the glasses there in the description below. And uh, please subscribe, uh, like us on Facebook, we're on Twitter as well, and we do have our own website, which is uh, GG Tactical dot pixel sites dot com that will soon be changing to its own domain but that's for the moment um, I'll include links in the description below and thank you for watching goodbye